Don't be acting like I'm in this room, like I make you nervous. Whoa. I'ma take my time and do your body right. Exactly. What's a K-Man? What does that mean? What up? I forgot to say it in the video, so I had to say it here. It's your boy Keys, Keys the Go, Keys the President, Big Keys with a big wallet and a big mouth, ain't nobody pop me in it yet. Okay, yeah, you get it, you get it. Before we start this video, if anybody has noticed, okay, my daughters have been acting up recently, and you know, it's cool. Recently, I've been called all types of fat B words, and it's, it's cool, you know, it happens, but here's the thing. I was a ex fat B word, you know what I mean? Like, now I'm just chubby. And the thing is about that, being about that, being about that, being about that is, the person who was making fun of me, was making fun of my ED, that's cute, but me and your grandma had the same one, but who lived? <laughs> who lived though? So, that's on your grandma brain. Okay, but anyways, next. I think you know how, you know, I had to get my little lick in there. You know, I, I, I'm learning, I'm still healing, but I had to, you know, knock them up. But what's up with everybody? What's the girls up to? You know what I mean? I missed y'all. Um, y'all supposed to get a video last Saturday and I actually filmed it and I, I it was the Galaxy House story time. I told y'all, y'all know I didn't want to do that. Galaxy House video, what happened, blase, blase, blase. And the only reason why I didn't come out is because, well, one, it was already all types of problems. The angle I had was kind of weird. I guess because like my apartment's so empty because all my furniture is still being shipped in here. Like my job, I've only been out here like 11 days or so. All my furniture's still being shipped here and the echo in the living room is crazy. Like it shouldn't be that bad now and because I'm looking directly at the camera with the mic pointing at me sound shouldn't be a problem I just felt like I was moving around too much the grease was popping burgers was sizzling fries was cooking it was just too much it was just too much but we're here now and now I have to put out three videos this week because I promised y'all we will be doing two videos a week and that means eight videos a month like what's team and I feel like because I'm in this like apartment by myself now there's really nothing holding me back but in that same breath because I have to get this video out and then I have to film another video tonight so I'm filming this video now but I'm also filming another one tonight so when you see me in both these outfits don't say nothing i'm gonna punch you in that mouth like for real i don't have to thump you up i'm just gonna be telling this story it shouldn't be too long like i'm gonna try to get at least 20 to like 25 minutes for y'all you know just so y'all got something to enjoy but disclaimer is not gonna be the longest video i can already tell that now because honestly i don't really remember much about the story but the key part so it, it really got no reason that's why i'm stalling so much what have my girls been up to y'all we're in our apartment i'm on my blow up okay bouncing y'all when i tell y'all i have been so uber duper uber bored like it is crazy like i have been just in here editing and then to be editing so much and for that video to be demonetized and then age restricted let's go ahead and get on this story time okay because y'all like my fight story times and i be getting in fights but a lot i don't got no videos from there's one video this fight actually does have a video with it but for some reason ain't nobody got it i mean the girl who does have it she's so ghetto now like i know she didn't have eight different chat phones since then she was one of them kids that used to have the battery that would pop out her phone and she dropped it so even if we did have the footage it would look like it would be recorded on the dsi so honestly maybe it's just probably best i don't got that footage in there like so this is a story time about how this boy was trying to touch me in my no-no area and i was like um no bitch i don't like you he basically got kind of mad trying to start a rumor that i was gay which i was but i didn't want nobody knowing that yet so now we gotta thump it up you know um i hope the lighting isn't too bad let me go get my room light. let me see if that make it better this is like crazy Ooh, this is crazy because for me to have to okay so here's the thing i really gotta sit here and film this video and then film another one directly after like I don't even like y'all like that. Like, ugh, y'all musty. No, I'm playing. Okay, but keep it real in the comments right now. Who musty? You can keep it real with me. Who in the comments right now musty? I won't judge you. No shame. Ugh, this raggedy ring light. Like, ugh. I need to get a new one. And of course, one of my old friends got me this with a cheap ass. It's cheap ass ring. Like, girl, it's over there, like, falling forward. Like, I... Okay. Let's turn it up. Oh! Hi, y'all. This is cute. Now, let me go get my uh, turn my air on. I got AC. Okay, period. So, we're here. Okay, yeah, so this is a little short filler story time about the time about this boy who was basically trying to, like, he clearly was. I'm bad. I've been bad. I've been the baddest. I've been, I just been so fine. I just feel like this boy was obviously always gay. I, mean, I used to see it. Like, no shade. I thought he was cute, but the way he was going about it, like, it triggered me because I don't like that. Like, do not touch me nowhere. I tell you not to touch me. Like, this was a long, long, long time ago. Like, I was still in elementary school. So, this is before the story times that happened with the boy who um, didn't low key like me because the Facebook stuff or the boys that jumped me because I was friends with his ex girlfriend who used to, or friends with his girlfriend who was my ex girlfriend that I told her that she was getting cheated on. Like, Girl, you can't even say these hoes, like for real. So boom, this happened like, let's just say sixth grade because I feel like it was either fifth or sixth grade. And there's, there was this boy, so there was like these apartments down from my house and I used to live in the littest neighborhood because it was only like these two little short blocks. Like it wasn't even real like actual blocks. 
to get to the neighborhoods. It was like this little sidewalk. It was like a good five minute walk, if that. Like, that's if you're walking slow to get down the hill from the apartments. And so I used to be, nah, it was pretty much a five minute walk. I mean, we wasn't that close now, okay? But at this apartment, it's like everybody and their mama lived here like, what? And mind you, once upon a time, my grandma was the manager of these apartments. And I think, actually, no, mind you, no, mind you that. Let's mind that again. My grandma was the manager when this happened. I know that because she was to get all my uncles, my aunties up in there. Like, when I tell you, there was nobody out of every building I knew somebody. Like, I had a friend and a foe in every single building. So she would always be at the cabana working and whatnot or be gone, whatever she was doing, being grown. And so it would just be me, my uncle, and my uncle's like six years older than me. So when this was around the time, like, he didn't really care what I was doing with my friends as long as he wasn't tearing up the house or doing nothing weird. You know what I mean? Nothing... Nothing too oinko doinko. And so in these apartments, like, I will always be going down there, hanging out with the kids. We'd be playing, like, football or a playground or, you know, sometimes we would be shoplifting from the 7-Eleven down the street. We were just on some gang shit, you know what I mean? Like, we, this is before kids really had access to iPads and, you know, I mean, okay, okay, I'm pushing. You, had, you definitely had, you know, access to iPads. It was just different. Like, we actually liked to go out and have fun. Like, we was lit. Like, we actually liked to do stuff. So, we would just be out there ripping around the streets. And mind you, it was like that type of apartment where, like, everybody who was anybody was, like, in this uh, particular apartment doing something. Like, you, if you walk down that street, guaranteed you're going to find somebody. And if it wasn't in that apartment, there was an apartment right next door. And all, and mind you, these kids were so goddamn bad, girl. These kids, I don't know where they got a barb wire cutter, but then they cut a hole, like, a goddamn spy movie through the, like, metal fence so you could just walk through the fence and get into the other apartment. There was that, and then across the street there was another apartment and then right next to that other apartment there was like two more like I'm telling you it was apartments down you couldn't be homeless through the people that I meet you know you just meet more people more people more people you be out late playing tag you meet this boy you meet this girl it'd be whatever and so during that you know little excursion I had met this boy and that even a word I had met this boy named um I'm I need to stop <laughs> I need to stop name dropping I do you know what I'm not even gonna say his name because you know and I not his name was Cornell because he's weird and I don't care like I'm a victim like really I'm a victim him and I were never close But he was always one of them kids. I was just bad like I used to just idolize that his parents let him do whatever he wanted He never I was always like you got to get threes and fours on your report card and you got to stop talking to class He was the type of kid to be doing none of that like none of that But he never got in trouble for it and for some reason I thought that was just so fishy Like I thought that was so fishy for like months I had known this boy for a, a long while now and I remember one time I knew he was bad when he okay So there was an apartment there was like a unit that wasn't leased yet at the um, apartment. I'm sorry to my, you know, not f her too. You know, I, I got beef for everybody. Hey girl, so some people might be like, um, did you just say F your grandma? Like that's really rude and really disrespectful. First off, you don't know what you're talking about. She's crazy. Like y'all thought Monique was crazy. She's like, a notch up there. I can't even get into what she did that made me even say something like that. But just know it has something to do with her doing too much at a funeral. That's all I'm gonna say. But there was this actual unit in the apartment that was never like leased to anybody yet or it was waiting to be leased so it was empty. And for some reason he knew that it was empty. Like I don't know how you can find something out like that. But mind you, I ain't a smoker or nothing yet. I was not a smoker. I was not a smoker. <laughs> I'm so hip, smoker. But no, I wasn't into none of that. So when he was like, oh, you always want to go in this apartment and smoke? I was with my friends I was already hanging out with. And I was just like, I mean, I'll come because I ain't got nothing to do. Like, I don't hit the toke. Like, that's not my thing. That's not my thing. So we go to this apartment. He tries to open up the door. It doesn't budge. I guess they figured out the door was unlocked. And then he kicked it in. And I was like, uh-uh. You know what? This is just this. This that I like ghetto shit, but this is too ghetto. Like this is corny ghetto. So I stayed fake the funk for a little bit, trying to be game, be down with the hood. And when I feel like five minutes passed, I heard someone walking down the hallway. I have never jumped out of a back window so quick. Mind you, oh my god, like there's so much that happened in these apartments. My baby cousin fell out the balcony once and like no one found him until the people below him, like my other like cousins, found him like 20 minutes later in the bushes. Cause they said they had saw a, like something fall, but they didn't know what it was. That was like a backpack or something, but no, it was my baby cousin. Look, that's the only thing I think about. Like, okay, listen. Sorry, I'm back i feel like i have to explain this okay he like don't do too much on my uncle it was his bum ass ex-girlfriend uncle was at work and my cousin has autism so this is when he was just you know getting to you know walk and you know really be looking around and be doing everything he was not supposed to be doing and he actually didn't fall out the balcony he pushed the screen and fell out the window not that it's any better but he's alive and he's just bad as fuck now so yeah if he can fall this three story you can too you got some more calcium inside them bones you should be able to land this jump and get the you know what I mean? So that's what I did. And girl, that's when I knew he was a problem. Like, I didn't need to hang out with him. But I just clearly don't know how to make good relationships. That's always been my problem, hasn't it? Honestly, what it was about me, I was just a, like a kiss up. Like, not even a kiss up. But I was just a people pleaser. I hated making people feel bad because I knew that I didn't like to feel bad. Like, when people would be rude to me, it used to make me feel like terrible about myself. And y'all already know how 
my childhood and everything that was. So growing up and even to this day, I don't like to make people feel bad until they really get me to that point. Like now, you got one time to get disrespectful and I'm, I'm talking about you and your dead ass granny. I throw another lick in there. I still hung out with him, but I never hung out with him. Like, if I was with a different group of friends that he was friends with and he was around, I'm not going to obviously be like, oh, no, he can't be here. I'm leaving, da da because it was never that serious. But it would never be like, a, oh, Marquise, you trying to hang out? No. I don't like ghetto shit. Like, no. Or Glorilla and the City Girls and Megan made it cool to be on hood right twerking on cars at the red lights it wasn't fun for me back then i was a churro so basically one day we were just hanging out it was like me my friends and then my friends were also some of his friends and they were like girl they were all girls so they were like oh we got to go inside the house real quick and do whatever they had to do so it was just me and him just awkwardly sitting at the playground so i was just like okay i'm going to my grandma's house and he was like can i get something to drink so i was like yeah you can get something to drink like you can get some tap like i ain't gonna say you can get a you know, a glacier water, but I might be able to whip you something up real quick. So why does, I, I bring meds in there, and then I don't know how he knew my uncles in there, but he knew my uncles in there. And mind you, this boy is like a year younger than me. So I'm like, what, what the fuck is going on here? Like, I'm telling you, everyone at this apartment knew each other. Everybody was connected. Like, my grandma was like a schemer. So anywho, we're in the um apartment. Now he has to stay there. I'm just trying to watch the fire stick. And mind you, this is when the fire stick was ghetto. Who had a fire? Okay, wait, comment down below. If you had a fire stick before the fire stick was like cool, like, I got a fire stick now and I love it. And it's jailbroken. Yeah, I did. It's jailbroken. I watched the movies for free. But if you was fire sticking back in the day, like, you're really real because you had all the movies and you could not. I was so embarrassed. I was like, okay, we don't got Xfinity or, like, direct TV, so don't be saying nothing. Like, like it was my house or something. Like, I shouldn't have cared, but I just used to think over thing what everyone thought about me. I still do to this day, not gonna lie. Anyways, we get in there, we watch it, whatever movie we watch it, and he just keep, like, edging up to me. And I'm like... <laughs> What you keep getting closer to me for? When I tell y'all, man, it keeps getting close to me. I'm like just scooching a little bit, or I'm trying to pretend like I'm like edging up on the seat so I can get close to the teeth. He keep getting, he keep following me. I'm like, okay, like I'm about to pour bleach down y'all throat if you don't leave me alone. When I tell y'all, this man starts just touching on me. I'm not gonna lie, like at first I kind of liked it because I was so inexperienced. Like you know what I mean? Like this wasn't a time where I just knew what I was doing. Like obviously I knew what like kissing was and what other stuff was because unfortunately I found out what the p word was. I'm not gonna say it, but it rhymes with pornography. I just started having these little feelings in my stomach and these feelings down there that I never really like got. I thought I was gonna be touching no time soon. I did not think that this was ever gonna happen to me no time soon. So I'm not gonna lie when he was do but mind you, but mind you, but mind you, I was gay. So and I had no idea that this boy liked boys. And back then it was not cool to be gay. Like it was just not the vibe. Like if you was gay back then, like girl, you would get bullied. Like I tell you, kids used to hold me down, punch me in the stomach. Uncles and aunties and shit used to spit on me and cut like girl. Like it, was, it used to be hard over here. He's doing that. I'm low-key kind of like trying to be like, bro, get off of me. But like, I'm not really pushing him too much. I was like, boy, get like ah. Also, now that I'm just not thinking about this, you guys might be like, wait, you was in sixth grade, he was a year younger than you, so he was in fifth grade doing all this. It sounds crazy, but when I tell you, like, my city was ghetto. Like, yes, oh, Seattle is so pretty. That I Carly shit was a lie. These kids was out here fornicating, like, very, very young. Like, clearly the problem was at home. That was the first step. So, anyways, the man keeps doing it, and it's starting to get kind of weird because he's starting to get kind of aggressive. And I'm like, at this point, I'm. it's clear that he likes something about me. Like, you like someone over here. So, I'm telling him, like... Stop, like my uncle's right down the hallway. Like, and when I say right down the hallway, I don't mean right down the hallway, I mean like two steps ahead. Like, it was a small apartment, so he wasn't all the way down there. He could have easily just walked out the room, opened the door, and then saw some gay shit. It would have been up. It been up. Like, it would, and if that would have happened, it would have been up. He would have caught me, the whole family would have knew. I probably would have got, oh my God, I don't even want to think about the. I would have probably had to end it. I would have had to fight somebody. Like, my uncle would have snitched, so he would have had to get fought. Cornell, you know, we would have had to scrap. Like, I would have had to put the Timberlands on. He's getting up on me. I'm like, stop, like, for real. And he puts his hands, like, he keeps trying to grab, like, the, how do I explain it? Because I have, like, pants on, but he was, like, grabbing, like, the part of your pants where, or we have, like, sweatpants or pants, like, the little waistline part, right? So he keeps pulling it, and I'm, like, pushing him off me, and, he, like, okay, you know when something's happening, and you're not supposed to laugh because it's not supposed to be funny, but you just, like, girl, what the, like, what is going on? So you're sitting there laughing, knowing it's not funny, and you're really, like, being serious. I know someone else has dealt with that. And mind you, like, I don't want to hear nobody saying, oh, well, you should have did this, you should have that. I was a kid. Like, I did not know how to uh, respond to a situation like this. So, Mans, um ends up putting his hands into, you know, parts of my pants that he didn't need to be in there. And he started, you know, touching stuff that he didn't need to touch. And when he did that, I just ended up just punching him in his mouth, like... Something told me, like, no, like, you, because I knew, like, first off, I was very, 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 like, awkward about pulling my pants down in front of people. Like, when I would have to go get physicals before, and I don't know, 
don't know if y'all do this in y'all state, but like in Seattle, you didn't have, like, once you get to a certain age, or maybe it's just a new law they had passed like a few years ago, but you don't have to like actually do the physical. You can just tell the doctor you're all right. Like, unless you notice something wrong, if you notice or you feel something wrong or something's going on down there, then you need to tell your doctor and then they would do the physical. But you say you're doing 100% fine, like you're good, they don't have to do that. I've been doing that for the past like few years, not gonna lie. Anyways, but like at this time, that wasn't a thing and I was a kid, so I wouldn't know if I was good or not. So we, I had to have a medical professional actually check and make sure that I was good and everything was fine. So when they would make me like pull my pants down and do what they do, I didn't like a doctor doing it and my parents said that was perfectly fine. Why would I want a boy that I really have no interest in for real doing that? Like that's really weird. So I just punched him in his mouth and he got so mad but he couldn't do nothing or fight me back because he knew I would just tell my uncles and then they would whoop his ass. So it, you was gonna have to catch the apple for me or them. Which one you want? Bruh, so man's ends up leaving and I was just like, nah, like that was weird. I felt uncomfortable. I went home. I just kind of just watch TV and I forgot about it, but I didn't have nothing against the boy, but like, I was like, nah, like this can't ever happen again. And I don't think I really had social media because at this time I wasn't allowed to. So I can't say I had him on, you know what, that's a lie. That's a lie because I had him on Snapchat. I don't remember how long ahead this was, maybe like a week, two weeks, maybe like a few days, I don't know. But I was going back to my uncle's house, right? And how his apartments were, it was like not an apartment where there's like, you go through the hallways and the hallways are inside a building. It was like the, you walk up the stairs and there's a house here, a house there, but it's like outside of that makes sense. The hallways are like kind of like outside. So you can either go from this side, walk up the stairs and the house will be all the way at the top right there. Or you can go from the other side, walk up the stairs and just walk down this long hallway. But you can always see the other side because like I said, it's outside. It's like the concrete stairs where you can like see through like the little gaps. So I had saw him hanging out with one of our friends and I was like, oh, what's up and da 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 right? I was saying hi to my friend. And mind you, between them two weeks or whatever, how many, whatever the time frame was when this was happening, I had a, two really close friends, TJ and his little brother. I forget what his little brother is, like Damien or Darian or something like that. And he had called his little brother gay. And I didn't like that because it was just like his little brother didn't know how to defend himself. And obviously there would be nothing wrong being gay. Like I had nothing against gay people. I mean, clearly I was a little gay boy myself. But don't be trying to use that as no insult against a little boy. Like that's corny. Like you'll get beat up for that. Like I don't do bull I don't like people who are just overly bullying. Like unless someone provokes you and you gotta gum about that box and read, don't do that. That's corny. And this little ass boy, like what are you doing? So mind you, I was real close with this little boy. Like my mom and his mom was friends. They came over to my house for a few times. We spent a night at each other's houses, like Halloweens and all that. We, no, like that was gang. Like you had to get your ass whipped for that. So anyways, I saw him hanging out with our friends and I had walked, you know, instead of walking up the stairs and then going down the long hallway, I had just walked down the long hallway hallway on the bottom like level and then I had said hi to um my friend and obviously Cornell was there so I'm like hi and he's like hey like it was kind of awkward but I was like okay I'm about to go to my uncle's house I start walking up the stairs right and like I said it's outside so I can hear them and I guess because I was walking like slower towards the top he thought I was already in the house he didn't hear me like running or stomping on the steps but I heard him say oh he's gay duh, 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 duh. and they're like who Marquise yeah he was trying to touch on my and he was doing this he's hella gay I was like stop Oh, no, 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 no. We not playing those games. Even from jump, listen, I've always been real. Always been real. At the time, I wasn't even really scared that he was lying and telling people that I was touching him, like, even though I should have been. But I, I didn't even realize to the extent of what he was lying about. I just knew that it wasn't right. You know what I mean? But you lie, you telling people I'm gay, you don't even know if I'm gay. You know, at this point, you don't know. So, you gonna lie on me knowing that people already bully me about this, like, because my voice is a little higher, or because sometimes I'm a tad bit more feminine. Like, okay, maybe people didn't know. People didn't know. I was like, oh, hell no. And I had, I had something that I was supposed to be dropping off to my uncle, so I gave it to him. We had a little conversation. I went back outside thinking these boys about to still be there. And they're not there no more. So I'm like, oh, okay, I got to find him. Like, it's it's up. So I told my friend, um, at the time, my friend Amari about it. And I'm like, da -da -da. I explained the whole story. And she was like, wait, because Cornell's here right now. Bitch, why are you telling me that 19 minutes ago? Like, she's messy. She's always been messy, though. That's been my homegirl. That's been my girl. And mind you, Amari also lived in these apartments in the building right next to my uncle's building where my grandma lived. Right? The same building. Mind you, mind you. Like, this is crazy. Remember how I told you there's like two sides to the apartment? On the other side of this apartment, on like the third level or the second level, wherever it was, that's the level that my baby cousin fell down from. And the level below that was the level of, was the, from the other like cousin, like they were like just real close family friends, but I just called them cousin because that's what they told me to call their son that was like my age. They also lived there and they're the ones who found my cousin in the bushes. Like it's, well, I tell you, everybody lived in these apartments, everybody lived in these apartments. I walk in there and I'm like, what's up? I was like, so I'm gay now because you were trying to touch me and da 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 da. And he was like, what are you talking about? So obviously he's lying because Amari's right there. And I'm like, and then you was talking about Damien. And I really didn't even like come. I knew that we was going to have to fight just from like 
out of the respect that I have for myself and for Damien. But then it's just like, I know that this boy, he likes to show out. And when I always know that when you start calling people out and they get embarrassed and they get mad, they're going to try to fight you. Especially me. Everyone thought because I was gay, I was weak. Now I'm still a boy. Like, you will still get that ass tore up. <laughs> Hey guys, just wanted to say I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to the Miami trip. Just found out that um, someone's getting married out there, and then my cousin like broke her spleen, so I need to help her. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Um, just keep me in your prayers, and I'll just see what I can do. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. Now, but anyway, so I walk up in there. I'm like, okay, so what's up? Basically, that's the point I'm trying to get across. Like, what's your problem with me? He got up. He wanted to fight. I was like, okay, I had to put my steppers on. We start fighting, y'all. And you know, when you when you fight and you not mad at the person, the fight is so much worse because you just sitting there tired, mad, really just trying to make sure you don't get hurt. And I, when I tell y'all, like, I was in there making it up. Like, I, I would not lie to y'all. I ever got beat up, like, I would let y'all know. I mean, we lose some, we win some. I mean, it's happened before. I told y'all how I got jumped and they was in there. Knocking me in, knocking the Mario coins out my neck. I was really in there teeing him up. Mind you, he was a year younger than me, and he was a lot, like, shorter than me. Like, if I was, like, this tall, he would be, like, his head, if my head ended here, he would end, like, right here. So, it was a little bit unfair, but I don't care. If you start talking and you start touching now, if I had popped you in that mouth and started fighting you when you touch me in my no-no area, my puss, who was you going to do then? You know what I mean? So, I feel like I really, that wasn't even going through my head. I didn't care about the age. I didn't care about the height because he didn't care about my boundaries. Sorry. Girl, when I tell y'all, I was just in there minking him up. I'm grabbing his shirt. I'm just, you know, come here. Me. Mink, mink. I'm just tearing him up, y'all. I'm just tearing him up so bad. Amari, and let me tell you, she's such an instigator. Like, she's over there recording. And I'm just thinking to myself, your camera don't got no good quality. So I know when you leaving, like, the, the phone moving here, the video ain't even caught up yet. It just looked like Sonic just ran through that. We just be fighting. We was in there fighting for, like, 30 minutes. Amari just sitting there, like, instigating it. And this is how you know I didn't want to fight. Because we'll be fighting, and then we would get so tired to where I would be like, <sighs> We used to be sitting down. He would be on one side of the couch. I'd be on another side of the couch. And then he would try to run up and get me. Like, this is not Bad Girls Club. But mind you, I watched another bit. So as soon as he would come up there, I... Girl, back up. Back up. And then I think the final, like, hit or what, like, really made him, like, want to stop is I feel like the fourth, like, round of us fighting. At this point, we, like, like I said, like, 30 minutes in there. I just, I didn't mean to. And thank the Lord I did. Oh, thank God. I just ended up smacking the Similac out of his tongue like I just smacked him he was just at the perfect spot at the perfect time and I really didn't even mean to like I don't know why my hand was moving in that trajectory but he just went looked to the side I saw it was like the kind of like the twilight movie when Bella became a vampire I could see the spit glisten and just fall out of his mouth yeah Amari was just saying like oh you got to hurt him like Yes, post that video on the shade room. Post that on the middle school shade room and show them that I need to stop being messed with. Ended up going home and I I didn't hear that he had told anybody else about that. And I obviously didn't tell nobody else because I just didn't even want people to... I wasn't even really looking out for him. I was looking out for myself. Like, I did not want people to be like, oh, well, did you like it? Are you gay? Did you like it? Did it? I, I didn't want to hear none of that. Because at the time, we were kids. So, they aren't thinking, like, how we would have now. Like, are you okay? Like, what the hell? Like, da -da -da -da. They would have just been like, oh, you're fruity. I never saw him after that. I think he unadded me on Snapchat. And that was just that. <laughs> that was just that. Um, that's really it for today's story time, y'all. Like I said, this is just a little filler story time. I literally have to film another video tonight, and I don't even, I'm not even gonna sit here in front. I don't even know if I'm gonna do that. The next video is supposed to be a scary video, like a playing scary games video. So I don't know if I'm even gonna film that because I, like, yes, I have an apartment, and I guess, like, I don't really understand that, like, they really cannot hear me, but because to me, it just feels like dorms. Like, I really just feel like I'm in a big dorm by my, like a single dorm by myself. So I'd be scared, like, even telling the story time, I feel like they can hear me and they're getting irritated, but I don't really give a damn. I pay rent like the rest of y'all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do. If I do film a story, or if I do film that video tonight, watch y'all, keep out for that. And then I'm about to film another story time this week. It's gonna be a two story times. <laughs> Oh. But anyways, bye y'all. Love y'all so much. I'm gonna see you guys this Saturday or maybe even sooner with my next video. I don't know, but I have to post on Saturday at least. It's definitely gonna be Wednesday and Saturday. I don't know when I'm gonna drop that next video. It's either gonna be Thursday, Friday, or Sunday. So, by the way, if you guys don't know, when I don't post videos, like, I always have my videos uploaded, at least uploaded. So if I don't post on the days that I say I'm gonna post, at the times I said I was gonna post, the times are right here. It's because YouTube either has the video demonetized and they, they don't tell you what the problem is until they review it and that could be after 
three days, two days, or even seven days. So that's why when you guys don't get content, it'd be because of that. So if you're wondering like what's going on, you can always go to the community tab on my YouTube page and I will let you know what's going on. Or you can go to my Instagram pages, Keys on the Low and Keys Crawford without the M. And I always usually keep an update on my story like, oh, this is what's happening, blase, blase, blase. Keeping up with y'all. I want y'all to know that I love y'all and that I actually am trying. I'm getting this content out for y'all. Like I'm working hard this week because we will be getting these three videos out because we got to post eight times a month. We got we to gotta stick to it. We got to stick to it. Roll to 100K has not stopped. Hopefully next week I can start filming videos in my actual living room and stuff because I already have some of the LED lights in there put up and how I want like the ambience to be around. And I'm just really excited for the whole process to come together y'all to see that and for us to just build our party together like this. Ew. Anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate y'all so much. Love y'all a hundred times. Kisses on both cheeks. Bye.